welcome back to Project Anonymous. In today's video, we're going to show you how to find 3D printable files and print them. And I'm going to be prepping it and painting it, and I'll take you guys along with it. So stick around to see how we did it. So the first step is to go to Thingiverse. The home screen of Thingiverse shows the latest projects that people have uploaded. Then you go to the search bar and type up what you want. In our case, we're going to get a monkey, specifically a cute one. And this is the perfect one. When looking at other people's files, make sure to read the comments and look at pictures to make sure it is printable. Slicer software. Navigate to the location you saved your downloaded folder and open the STL file. Click on your object and move it to where you want it to print on your printer bed. Be sure to check for areas on your object that have overhangs to decide if you need supports or not. In our case, we will need to enable supports. Decide how detailed you want your print and how many layers you want for your wall thickness. In the experimental tab, we will enable tree supports for our overhangs, and in the material tab, we will set our hot end and bed temperature. Because this print is taller than it is wide, we will enable a small brim to aid in the bed adhesion. Once you're done verifying the rest of your settings, it is time to slice the file by clicking on Slice. Preview your slice file for a more accurate view of your printed object. In our case, we accidentally still had spiralized contours selected from another print, which would have caused this print to be hollow. This is why we always check our preview. we are using to the file name in case we want to print it in the future. Time to log into our Raspberry Pi we have connected to our printer using OctoPrint. We can drag and drop our G-code file into Octoprint. Then we 
you simply press the print icon. Oh, this one was an easy one. This is what it's looking like. Are these support? Mm -hmm. Can I take it off? You can. Do you have fires in the garage? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so now we're in the garage and we're going to be taking off all of these supports. Yeah. Um, with some pliers, because stuff has been a little hard to take off, but... Can you switch? Yes, please. So now you're going to be... surface a little bit easier to paint on and smoother so all I'm gonna do is apply that to all of the monkey some raw sienna on my plate and then also some of my other colors that I'm probably going to be mixing with it. Oh look it's out! Let's not include this. Um, get my yellow ochre. Okra. Okra. Oh I thought it was yellow ochre. <laughs> Yellow ogre. <laughs> ochre. Ochre. Okra. Or, sure. Okay. I'm just going to stop pronouncing it. So I'm going to be mixing some raw sienna with the yellow ogre. And now I'm just going to be painting the body. Yellow 
Orcher, and some of my mixed of the raw sienna. <laughs> Now I'm going to add a little bit of white. Any day now. No, that's way too much. Way, way too much. I'm just going to... Mm -hmm. Clean my brush real quick. Hopefully that's not too much. Oh my god. And now it looks like we're back where we started. Thanks so much for watching our 3D print and paint project. Please like this video if you like this video. Or just like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Or subscribe. And turn on those notifications to be around every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. 